Hi, so today's class I've called um, Love to Flow um, because I just love to flow. One movement, one breath. Not fast paced, but not held. We just flow through. I'm going to add to the sequence each time. So it's like um, building blocks. Once we've got the top block on, um, then we'll just flow through the entire sequence once more um, till we come back to, to our mats again. So it's a beautiful day here. Um, we're just back from the long weekend, which is probably why I'm looking so so tanned and um, been out on a boat this weekend and the weather's been gorgeous. Um, so a little bit too much sun, but um, we can cape out of it a little bit today. <laughs> so we're going to get going. Let's come into child's pose and I hope you're feeling as chilled as I am. But let's just see how we feel. Every day we're different and this is where we can just come into our own space our own minds of um, whatever we've got in our day, whether it's ahead of us or whether it's behind us. And start to tune into that flow, the flow of your breathing. Just seeing whether your breath is full and fast and energetic, whether it's slow and full and indulgent, or whether it's just chill. And what we want really is a little bit of all of that in our breath, in our movement, to create this moving meditation, this love to flow attitude. Anytime you need to leave out of vinyasa, you can come back to here. You can take rest time in child's pose. Nothing that we can't do together. It's, it is a practice for everyone. Let's come from our child's pose, up into our hands and knees, and for the first time, let's see how these two link together. Through our inhale and our exhale, through our cat-cow spine. And if you've not done much yoga this weekend because you, like me, you've had the long break, then maybe you just need to be a little bit cautious as you dip down into those back bends. Let your body remind itself of its yoga. And once it remembers all these beautiful movements and shapes, it will be raring to go. Guaranteed. Let's take a little hold in our cat. Not holding your breath. Holding your breath is just adding blockage to your body. We don't want to do that. We want to flow without any restriction. Toes tuck under, downward facing dog. Whatever here really, explore it. Tap it out, hold it steady. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Hands can be rock solid on the floor or they can move around as well. Legs can be a little bit marching and a bit methodical. Or they can dance a bit and be a little bit. Sometimes in my yoga, and excuse me if you are um, one of the guys here who loves to dance, sometimes I call my um, downward facing dogs dad dancing in down dogs. <laughs> because anything goes, whatever the music is, is on. It doesn't matter if it goes with the music or without the music. <laughs> Just go for it. And then inhale, rise to your toes. And exhale, lower your heels, downward facing dog. And then forward to plank. If it's not a great day for plank, then knees on the floor always, or even just take a child's pose if that's for you. Come right down onto your belly. Move your arms forward a little bit. And let's just take three breaths here with your arms on or off the mat as we come up into a low cobra. And slowly down. Really where you can focus on how you're breathing is reflecting your movement here. How is your energy? And lower. Hands coming by the side of your waist. Let's sit back to child's. And let's bring a little bit of that movement in, coming over the top of the cat. Up into your down facing dog. And gently press down through the heels, knees, thighs lifted, lower belly. 
like a wave coming over the top of the cat's spine into plank and all the way down towards the mat. Taking a low cobra as you inhale and going back to your child's pose as you exhale. Taking time to come over the top of the cat. Up into down facing dog, high on your toes and gently pressing down through your heels. That wave action as you come over into your plank and coming all the way down onto your belly. Inhale as you lift into your cobra and exhale as you sit back to your child's. I'm going to shorten that sequence a little bit and come over our cat spine and up into our down facing dog. Press down through the heels like a wave as you come over into your plank but then back over that wave, ride that wave back to your down facing dog. Try that one more with me. Coming over the wave like we're surfing our yoga and then over the top of that wave back to your down facing dog and just take a moment back in down facing dog. Please soak up your down facing dogs. Please don't ignore them. They are the most amazing feeling for your body. They have the most beautiful benefits for our body, our mind, our strength, and our energy. Take a gaze to your hands. Walk to the top of your mat. Find your shin bones as you inhale. Find a little bit of space, a little bit of clarity, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, hold your elbows, whether you hold them in front or behind your legs. Doesn't matter. Just have a little bit of a whatever you fancy here. Just breathe. Try and think now of that indulgent breath. Try and think of that full breath. Fill in the full capacity. Be greedy with your breath. Let your hands find your shin bones. Sweep your arms all the way up. And let's find Tadasana. Sun Salutation A, just a couple of times through, just to get some heat building. Inhale as you reach up through the arms. Exhale as you fold forward, Uttanasana. Lift the chest to gaze, inhale, and step back to plank. Let's come all the way down to our bellies and just keep it with a low cobra. Tuck in the toes and down a facing dog. Having the legs around hip distance with your knees and thighs lifted. Having your arms around shoulder width with your hands spread out so every finger is playing down the dog. Gaze is forward at your hands, stretch your chest back to your thighs, step or try to jump to the top of your mat, back is flat. Fold to your legs, exhale, and as you inhale, extend the arms high. Now we want to get warm, so let's go straight back in, exhale, and repeat that. Lift the chest to gaze, inhale, step or jump to your plank, and come down onto your belly. Lift into your cobra, or explore up facing dog, and down facing dog, exhale. Let's take a breath here, or two or maybe more. As you draw in through the lower belly, take your gaze to your hands and walk or jump to the top of your mat, back is flat. Take a fold to your legs, notice. Inhale as you sweep the arms up, pressing the palms but anchoring your legs. And exhale, let's fold one more time. Gaze is forward, we're stepping or jumping. And halfway now up to the mat, try up dog or stay with your cobra and down facing dog. Exhale. We're just going to take a lift of our right leg off the mat with our toes pointed and our legs straight above us. And then flex out through that foot and land that foot down, toes leading. Take the left leg up and inhale. Flex out through the heel, exhale and lower that leg down. And as that leg touches the floor, bend your knees, stretch back to your thighs and step or jump, top of mat, back is flat. Inhale as you lower towards your shins, exhale, coming all the way up and into our 
Tadasana. Let's find this flow. So each time I add a pose or I add a pose or a sequence until we've got the whole, whole shebang and then we'll flow it all the way through together. Let's start with a breath in and extend it out of our Tadasana and come into chair pose. From your chair pose, Uttanasana. With the chest gaze, step or jump. Your vinyasa now, all the way through, whether it's cobra or up dog, and down facing dog. Our right leg leaves the mat, bend the knee, and bring your foot in between your hands. Come up into a high lunge, inhale. And then lower the hands to your heart, exhale. Do a circle with your arms, inhale. And your hands come to your mat, step back to your plank. Your vinyasa here until we join back together in down facing dog. Lift your left leg off the mat and bring that leg through. If it needs some help, come up into your high lunge, inhale. Bring your hands to your chest, exhale. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, step back to your vinyasa whether you're coming through Chaturanga, Cobra, Up Dog, until we come back to our Down Facing Dog. Taking a breath in, bend the knees, look at your thighs, or look at your hands, should I say, and step or jump, top of your mat. Take a fold to your legs. Let's add a block, inhale, Come back to Tadasana each time. Exhale. Circle the arms, breath in, come into chair pose. Folding forward, exhale, Uttanasana. Lift the chest to gaze, step or jump to your plank. And through cobra or up dog, or you could just hang around if you needed to. And leave out a vinyasa. Our right leg leaves the mat, inhale. And bring that leg through. As you inhale, come up into your high lunge and bring your hands to your chest. Exhale. Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, come into Worry 2. Let's move through that. Straighten the leg, breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale. Always think in here. As you straighten the leg and lift the arms, you feel light. As you come back to your warrior, you have some power. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Let's tag a reverse warrior arm. Circle our arms. And step back to our plank vinyasa, your vinyasa. I will meet you in downward facing dog. Exhale. Fingers are spread. Knees, thighs lifted. Lower belly. Lift the left leg and bring that leg through. As you breathe in, come up into your high lunge. Bring your hands to your chest. Circle your arms up, inhale. Open to your warrior two, exhale. We have all this lightness as we lift and straighten our leg. And all this power as we come back, warrior two. Inhale as we lift. Exhale, warrior. One more breath in and breath out. We added a reverse and we move the arms and find plank vinyasa, whether you're finding cobra or up dog, a little more power and down facing dog. Exhale. So we have the form of a, a beautiful sequence beginning to evolve. Couple of breaths here, shoulders open, belly in. Rise to your toes, see your hands, stretch your chest to your thighs and step or jump, top of your mat, back is flat. Take a fold to your legs, exhale, and circle the arms all the way up, how high? Come to Tadasana, exhale. Let's add a block, inhale. Coming into chair pose. And forward fold, exhale. 
into the chest to gaze, step or jump, through cobra or upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Exhale, right leg leaves the mat, getting to know this now. Bring that leg through, as you inhale, anchor into your legs, circle the arms up. Bring your hands to your chest. Take a breath in, circle. Open to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten your leg, arms reach. Exhale, warrior two. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Now before we add that reverse warrior, let's bring side angle pose in. And wherever you're comfortable here, in your angle pose. So from your angle pose, let's sweep that back into that reverse warrior. Exhale. And let's do another side angle pose. To reverse warrior, exhale. And if you do have it one more time, come with me. Side angle pose. To reverse warrior. Take a circle through your arms and find your plank, your vinyasa, that brings you back with me to down facing dog. Exhale. So it's starting to heat us up quite a lot now. Make sure your breath is still there, working alongside you. Left leg leaves the mat, don't leave it behind you. And bring your leg through. Coming up into your high lunge, inhale. Little wobble there. And hands to chest. Exhale, circle the arms up, and warrior two, exhale. So we're light as we go up with the arms, and we're powerful warriors as we come back. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. One more of those, and exhale. Let's bring our side angle, maybe modify it on your thigh, show you how to modify, and then reverse your warrior. But that felt so good. We went in there again. Side angle pose, and reverse your warrior. Last one, again I'll show you with the modification, side angle, and reverse. Take a circle through your arms and step back to your plank. Take your vinyasa, whether you need a child's pose, please take it. And down the facing dog. Exhale, and wait, come back. Just flush through that breath. Inhale through the nose. Maybe a nice exhale through the mouth. Take a rise to the toes, look at the hands, stretch back to the thighs, step or jump. Top of your mat, back is flat. So this pace just remains the same. We have just a couple more. Inhale, the arms reach. Exhale, Tadasana. A little bit more tired. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Bring your hands to the mat, forward fold. Exhale, lift the chest, step or jump to your plank through your vinyasa until we meet in downward facing dog. Exhale. Right leg leaves the mat. Bring that leg through, come up into your high lunge, really firm with your feet into your mat, and your hands come to your chest. We circle the arms, inhale, and find our warrior two. Exhale. Float up as you straighten the leg, and power up as you come back. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath in, and breath out. Let's bring our side angle in, and then our reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle pose, to reverse warrior. We have one more, inhale. Now this time as we reverse our warrior, we're gonna straighten our leg. 
Turn our feet in, hands behind your back, open your chest. Make a wide straddle forward fold and reaching the arms wherever you can bring them without discomfort to your shoulder or force. Come halfway only. Place your right hand on the floor and take your left arm up as you twist. Bring your left hand to the floor, take your right arm up as you twist. Move one more time like that. Inhale and exhale. And one last time the same. Now both hands come back behind your back. Come back to those chest expansion arms and as you lift, lift your heart to the sky and push your knuckles to the ground. Reach your arms all the way up so you're like a star. Turn your right foot out, come back to your warrior. Let's reverse that warrior. Circle our arms around and find our plank vinyasa. Coming into your up dog or your cobra and your down facing dog. Exhale. And left leg is leaving the mat. Stepping through with the left leg and anchoring into your legs as you lift into your high lunge and hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale, circle the arms. Open to your warrior two. So we're light as we straighten the leg, inhale. And with that power warrior, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior. Angle, side angle. And reverse your warrior. Exhale. Keep that flowing, just inhale. And exhale. One more if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten your leg. Take your arms behind your back. Heart to sky, shoulders together. Take your wide straddle forward fold. And just compare, maybe this time the arms will be a little bit easier and feel a little bit more indulgent to that movement. Come halfway. Bring your left hand to the mat, take your right arm up. And inhale, exhale as you change. One more each side, breath in, breath out. And last one, breath in and breath out. Both hands to the mat, tabletop, hands behind your back. Fold over your legs one last time. And inhale all the way back, chest open, knuckles to ground, squeeze those triceps in. Bring the arms all the way back out to the side. Come back to your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Wiggle your arms and step back to plank. From your plank, lower your knees and sit back through child's pose. So that's the elements of our sequence. We're going to take away the repetition of each movement. And we're just going to make it one breath, one movement, one flow. I'm sort of hoping we can go through this sequence twice, but if you find that after one flow, that's enough for you today. Come back to here, or come to your back, or come join you. But if you can, let's come over the top of our cat spine. Tuck your toes under and down the dog. Enjoy, indulge. Relish your down dog. Come back to your breath. Come back to your, your teamwork with your breath and your movement. Come up onto your toes. Look at your hands and step or jump. Top of your mat, back is flat. Exhale as you fold to your legs. Take a breath in, extend the arms high. Come to Tadasana. One breath, one movement, one love to flow. Inhale the arms, come into chair pose, forward fold, exhale, lift the chest again, step or jump, plank, your vinyasa, through cobra or up facing dog, and downward facing dog. Let's lift our right leg off the mat, inhale, and bring that leg through, anchor into your feet as you inhale, up into your high crescent lunge. 
exhale your hands to your chest. Take a breath in, circle the arms. Come into warrior two, exhale. Straighten the leg, breath in. And warrior two, exhale. Come into side angle pose, inhale. And reverse your warrior, exhale. Straighten your leg, take your arms behind your back, but take your heart to the sky. And exhale, Y, forward fold. Reach in your arms over, tuck your chin in. Come halfway, inhale, place your right hand on the floor and take your left arm up as you twist. Bring your left hand to the mat, take your right arm up as you twist. Bring both hands to the mat, so your tabletop, reach the arms behind the back and just dip back into that Y forward fold. As you come up, thinking knuckles to the ground or heart to the sky, inhale. Sweep the arms up, turn your right foot out, come back to your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Windmill the arms around and step back to your plank, your vinyasa, using up dog or cobra and downward facing dog. Exhale. Lifting your left leg off the mat. Let's bring that leg through. Help it if it's getting a little fatigued. Come up into your high lunge. Hands to heart. Inhale, circle. Exhale, worry two. Float those arms up, breath in. Powerful worry two, breath out. Come into your angle pose, wherever you feel comfortable to come to. And reverse your warrior. Straighten your leg, taking your arms behind your back as your feet turn in. And that wide straddle fold as you reach your arms over. Come in halfway, inhale, left hand on the floor. And twist in your right arm to the ceiling. Change in, inhale. And exhale. Both hands down, take your arms back behind your back and dip back into that chest expansion flow. As you lift your chest, knuckles to the mat, heart to the sky. Where your chest is looking, reach your arms up. Bring your left foot around, come back to your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. How amazing does that feel now as we're starting to tune in to our breath, vinyasa. So much so that exhale, down facing dog. One more time, right leg leaves the mat. Bring that leg through. Come up into your high crescent lunge. Hands to your chest. Circle the arms, positive. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten the leg, inhale, still light. Exhale, still positive. Side angle pose, exhale, and reverse that warrior. Straighten your leg, feet turn in, arms behind your back. Inhale, chest lobe opens. Exhale, arms flow over towards your mat, weight is forward. Come in halfway, right hand on the mat, left arm lifts, twisting. Left hand changes, right arm lifts. Both hands back, hands behind your back as you dip one last time this side into that chest expansion flow. Bringing your hands to your back, bringing your heart to the sky. Sweeping your arms up where your heart is looking and your right leg turns out for your last warrior on this side. Reverse your warrior. Circle your arms around and find your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale through cobra or up facing dog. And exhale downward facing dog, we're nearly there guys. Left leg leaves the mat, how amazing does it feel? Bring the left leg through. Moving meditation, inhale lifting the arms. Exhale hands to chest. Inhale lift the arms. Exhale warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms behind the back. 
Exhale, wide straddle forward fold, lifting the arms over. Inhale, halfway, left hand on the mat. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale as you change sides. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, the arms behind the back, dip back into that chest flow. Inhale, lift, sweep the arms up, be a star. Left leg turns out, warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Bring the other arms, find your plank. Find your last vinyasa with me. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we're back here. So we're just going to get a little bit of bounce in our legs, bend the knees, feel like you want a little kiddish trampoline, a little bounce up and down. And we're going to jump our feet all the way in behind the backs of our wrists and just extend the legs out in front of us. How are we feeling? Ooh. So continuing the effortless feeling of our breath and our flow from our Dandasana Kansaya. Inspired, leave your right leg where it is and just tuck your left leg on top. It's a little sort of stretch out for our hips and our hamstrings. So try and get this heel nice and close to your hip and try and get these knees as stacked as you can. If you can't, you can use a block or a strap to aid you. And we're just going to explore this forward stretch as we come over this leg. And for the first time through this practice, our breath now is sort of leading us deeper into one movement. Through the last section that we first practiced together, our breath led us through lots of movements, lots of synchronized movements. Now our breath is leading us through one movement and it's just a sensible Meditative. Let's use that word deep. Wherever you want to bring your arms, if you want to go further, stronger, deeper, or whether you're feeling that that's not for you today, you could modify it or adapt it. So it is for you today. Let's have one more breath here. And then we're just going to take a little walk away from that. So we're just going to take this leg out and then tuck the right leg over the top of the left. Try and sort of sit reasonably balanced whether you're on a block or whether you're just on your bum. And then we want this heel nice and neatly next to our hip if possible. And whether we have a strap or whether we have our, our arms, we also have our sensible heads that lead us here because side to side we are so different. This is my tougher side, so what I do sometimes do here is feel like you're on the bottom of the boat and just the natural rhythm that that boat would take on if it was on the waves. Just moving like in the breeze, just dipping into the challenges and maybe sometimes having to dip away from them because, oh my goodness, can't stay there too long. So if we're a little bit respectful and we just dip in, dip our toes in, then we might start to feel that actually that's not so bad. I'll put my foot in now until we jump in. <laughs> and then we think, oh gosh, cold in here. And we'll slowly dip out. Can we dip out? I think we can dip out, can't we? We can today. And then just bring both legs out, shake them out. It's going to bring them into this little butterfly shape, so however close to your hips they want to go. Then cup with your hands, let your feet rest in your cup and don't be tempted to pull your feet with your hands. Just let your feet be supported by your hands and just sort of tip yourself forward till you dip into those hips again. And like we just spoke about, you know, like dipping your toe in the water and then you know, for a little while your toe feels okay with it and you'll put your foot in until you jump in to that water. We don't want to jump straight into the cold water here. 
hope I'm making myself feel, I know what I mean, I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> Again, there's no reason why you can't get those little movements, inner hips, thighs, quite, quite tough, quite tight. Shoulders shouldn't feel tight, upper back, neck shouldn't feel tight, lower belly lifting, breathe in, indulgent. A bit chilled back with that breath now. And then slowly up as you bring those knees in, just slide both legs out, flex your feet, take a breath in, and reach the arms up. Imagine another wave going over, riding that yoga wave as we come forwards, wherever you can comfortably hold, whether your strap, your wrist, your fingers, and just let your body relax, come to that chilled breath here. That full indulgent breath, feel your lungs breathing, your body expanding with your breath, your mind settles. Nothing competitive here at all. Now we're going to finish with a little bit of a um, treat for your deep core. So if you're not up to be treated to your deep core here, you could always finish your practice here with some savasana. Or if you'd like to come with me, bring your hands by the side of your hips and slowly up. Just on a breath, or ride the breath, take your hands behind your back, lift your chest. You're welcome to leave your bottom on the mat or on a breath. Just lift and reverse your plank. Exhale. And gently back to your mat. Inhale. So just bring your feet to the top end of your mat. And just roll onto your backs, just hugging your knees into your chest. We're going to take a little massage out of our back. And then we're just going to um, indulge our deep core. So we're going to scissor split our legs and we're going to take our left leg high and our right leg long. And that right leg can be off the mat or it can be on the mat. Reach up and find your left leg. And as if you were going to kiss your shin. Just draw it towards you, wherever it feels achievable. And to cheat a little bit, let's lift our head up as if we want to kiss that shin from here. Now looking down the line of your body, try and bring yourself center. And imagine yourself maybe on like a, a gymnast beam and you have to stay right in the middle of that beam. And then holding your leg here, hands come behind the back of the head. Tuck your chin in so your line is, your gaze is down that line of your right leg. And then while you're here, just do one scissor change. Reach up and catch this leg. Let your head come to the floor for a moment. And just tune in to the flexibility of this leg. You can do movement if you want to circle your feet and all those things we do in our practice. Upper back, shoulders, neck. Absolutely now done their thing. So a gentle stretch here as if we want to kiss our shin and then lift in to make that little kiss a little easier. Hands coming behind the back of the head, chin tucked in, gazes down that leg. And then before we do a scissor change here, lower your head. Like a little, pil a little Pilates or yoga crunch, let's come up, exhale and do one scissor change, just one. And lower. So our crunch will govern our scissors. One crunch means one scissor. And lower. Let's do that again. Breathe out and change. Breathe in. Let's do two crunches. Exhale. Inhale. What two crunches means? Two scissors. One, two, and lower. Again. Exhale. Inhale, we lift, change one, two, and lower. Let's try three. Three, two, and three to scissor. Three, two, one. Try one more of those. Three, breathe in, two, exhale, three, change, three, Two, we have one last go, four scissors, four crunches, four, three, two, four scissors, four, three, two, one, knees in, head down, 
<laughs> and exhale. Good morning, Paul. <laughs> Arms out by your side, cross your right knee over your left. Take your legs to the left side, turn your head to the right. How good does that feel? So if your right side feels a little tough, your right shoulder, your right arm, we can move it lower, we can move it higher. Let's move it so it doesn't feel tough. Make the most amazing day, or whether it's the end of the day for you, but you've had an amazing day. Let's go back into the middle while your legs are crossed, give them a little squeeze in. And then just let them spring away so you can cross them the other way and take them over to the other side. Exhale, same this side if your left arm shoulder feels a bit high. Let's move it wherever it wants to go. Breathe, turn your head if you want to. And then as we draw those legs back in, still cross, give them a bit of squeeze. And then when you let them go, just uncross them, just a nice big squeeze in. Please feel free to spend a few minutes in Savasana. I'm going to finish the class here seated. Um, but if you want to, just find Savasana, put some really lovely music on, and just enjoy that time for yourself. If you are coming with me, we're just going to curl up to meet our knees, but roll their shoulders away from our knees. Whatever way you're comfortable to come up to a seated. And that's the class, Love to Flow. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you tuned into your breath. Um, and it worked in a Nubian meditation, if not sometimes felt a little bit challenging, but it was still there. One breath, one movement. So shoulders nice and deep, take a breath in, we breathe in the positive. We catch it here in our palms and exhale, bring all that positive to our hearts. Namaste. Have the most amazing day. Thank you.